So as of this recording, uh, I'm recording this on May 11th. Uh, unfortunately, I learned and, and just confirmed that uh, yesterday on May 10th, uh, Richard Benson passed away. And, uh, you know, they, they didn't see a whole lot of details as what the cause was, uh, you know, but everything kind of seemed to allude to uh, so, you know, most of the health issues that he has struggled with over the last several years. You know, I wanted to, you know, post this because I'm, I'm among the, one of the people that defended him, you know. Uh, he had a very, very sad story. And, you know, and the gist of it is, you know, he had developed, uh, you know, a, you know, a really, really bad arthritis in his hands because at one point in time, he was a very, very good guitar player. Uh, and he developed, uh, his, you know, some kind of arthritis uh, in his hands and it prevented him from, uh, you know, from being able to play anymore. And he really, he, and he kept on going anyway, you know. Uh, and I think that's, that's the, you know, the part that, uh, you know, that was inspiring to me because, I mean, you know, people were, I mean, you know, he was still playing shows and doing the best that he could, you know, he could, you know, couldn't really even get around without a walker anymore, you know, and, you know, to sit down and, you know, either playing, uh, you know, it, you know, trying to play music because, you know, he felt it was, it was all he had left, uh, you know, simply because it was, you know, the, you know, the, love of his life, whatever the case may be, you know, people were still throwing food and stuff at him, you know, during his performances. I mean, it was, God, you know, I, I, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta hand it to the guy to be, you know, for being willing to endure that because I don't think anybody else would be able to. And no, I don't believe the bullshit that it was all an act and you now that's what people were supposed to do. Uh, because I've, I've heard, stories of you know his wife and family watching all of this going on from the side of the stage in tears you know there was no you know there was there was no humor no joking no fun uh you know no funny, no funny business going on with any of that stuff you know, i wanted to say something real quick because you know i you know personally i found his love of music uh very very inspiring and, uh, you know, I think, you know, most musicians, you know, true musicians, uh, I mean, that's the, the part of us that will never die. You know, I even went, I've, I've, I went a stretch one time of six years where I barely picked up a guitar at all when I was younger. And, you know, it was just something that was still, it was in my blood, you know, it was only a matter, it was only a matter of time eventually that I was going to come back to it. And I did. You know, you know, and for true musicians like Richard Benson, you know, I think that's just that's how we're wired when it comes to music. You know, it's not a hobby, it's not a job, uh, you know, it's none of that stuff. It's a lifestyle, and you know, a very very unique lifestyle that only true musicians will understand. I think, you know, and Richard Benson certainly epitomized that throughout his entire life because even when he couldn't play anymore, he continued to play and. You know, that I, I have to admire the guy for that. Uh, so, you know, he, it's, uh, I'm, I'm kind of sad to hear that he passed on. So, you know, and because I mean, he was just so, he was so poorly treated by so, so wrongly poorly treated by so many people, uh, you know, and like I said, it just, it just wasn't right. Um, but his dying words, I believe, uh, what I read anyway, his dying, you know, basically his dying words were, if I die, I die happy. So, uh, you know, it does warm my heart a little bit to hear that he uh, was able to die happy despite all of that. So, take care, Richard. We'll see you on the other side.